Because there's some people uh, on the bottom right of your screen, inside elected officials, inside the House of Representatives, the liberal squad as they've been nicknamed, but potentially they're, they're far more insidious and, and threatening than the word squad would ever tell you. Because they are ramping up their attacks and their hate against Israel. Fox News host Harris Faulkner is doing everything in her power to stoke as much fear into her audience as possible about the terrifying progressive squad setting her sights for this attack on AOC. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Congresswoman of New York, is accusing Israel of war crimes. Just watch. Hamas has absolutely engaged in horrific attacks. However, we do know as well that war crimes do not constitute and are not an appropriate response for other war crimes. I have long found the ignoring and sidelining of Palestinians in the US House of Representatives, the, Palest the humanity of Palestinian populations uh, in the five years that I've been in Congress quite shocking. Based on all the reports and articles I've read, AOC is 100% correct. Like, yes, what Hamas did was horrific and disgusting. What that does not mean you should respond with more war crimes in terms of the Israeli government and military, where you're sending out all these airstrikes, killing and injuring thousands of Palestinians who have nothing to do with what Hamas did. Nothing to do with that. And even though these comments that they put on there are edited by AOC, they are still congruent with advocating for a viable solution and trying to limit the loss of life on both sides of the conflict. Apparently though, that can't be, or that shouldn't be the correct opinion in this country. You heard it from the man himself. The US's official position is not to be on the true side of peace, rather peace at the expense of more needless casualties. Now let's hear how different Faulkner's take is from the president she damn sure gets paid to make fun of. She wants an independent investigation. The hospital wasn't hit. Islamic Jihad hit the parking lot outside the, the hospital. She needs to look at the evidence. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is introducing a resolution today to censure Talib, accusing her of anti-Semitism. Yes, I got a little, a little upset over the words of anti-Semitism. I just find it ironic how Marjorie Taylor Greene has all this smoke for Rashida based on her comments, accusing her of being anti-Semitic, when Donald Trump has said American Jews are ungrateful and that they're naturally loyal to Israel and that, oh, by the way, they own Congress. You were nowhere to be found denouncing that, Marjorie. You had no comment there. You didn't decide to hold your boy accountable. Or even when Tommy Tuberville at a rally basically said black people as a whole are criminals. You were perfectly fine letting that go without any comment. Unless I missed something, I probably didn't. We know how you roll, so please miss me with that. Just miss me with that. Fox News is doing their best to frame this in the narrative they want, which is full stop Israeli support further enriching the military industrial complex. And we think about how we can be both supporting Israel, we also have to remember and center the fact that while we have this conversation, there are 2.2 million folks in the Gaza who are not Hamas, they are not terrorists, and their humanity matters as well. And I think you can center yeah. both of those in this conversation. You, you know who should have uh, been thinking about those people? Since those people voted for them, the Hamas terrorists. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's ultimately it's, their responsibility Harris, to have relationships with people around the region to feed I, their people and keep the lights on. I, I we'll hear talk that. another I just day. Think We've had a lot of breaking news. I've got a scoot. Don't mean to be rude, but I have to go. What's scary about all of this is the media directly impacts how the public makes their decisions on different things, especially when it comes to foreign policy issues that are very complex and nuanced. And they know, the media that is, know that individuals in America, by and large, are not going to study up and do their homework on these matters because of the time it takes to be fully informed. And that's why they also have no problem manufacturing consent for policies that are going to help keep the wealthy in power. And that is why speaking out against sending a blank check to Israel can lead to literally legal repercussions in America. Like, no joke. So again, mass media plays a major, major role in how we see things and what we do based on that information that is put out there. For Rebel HQ, I'm Chris Williamson. We'll see you next time.